I would scooch back a little bit. Why? Is the top of my head cut off? No, it just is an awkward view of you. Like That's fine. Alright. That's, That's how yeah. I had it with you. Today is the James Bay concert. Another one. We're going to another one because the last time we went to the James Bay concert, we were like major post concert depression. So the next day, I bought Carrie and I tickets. That was like her graduation present for this concert. So it is the day has come. The day is here. We are here. I'm going to do a little get ready with me video. I've never done it, but I thought today would be a good day because I actually have something I'm doing today. I'm not going to be sitting in my bed. It's not going to be all about the makeup. I'm not going to be all about the hair. I'm mostly going to be about eating and probably watching some Wondry Hill to kill the time because it's like 11 and the concert doesn't start till 8. So let's just get started. So to start out my day every day, I always start with breakfast even before I wash my face, even before I brush my teeth. It sounds gross, but I don't want my food to taste like toothpaste. So this morning I decided to make a breakfast sandwich and I kind of do like a little weird spin on a breakfast sandwich. I really like arugula and like balsamic and like really savory flavors so um, this is kind of how I make it. I have an English muffin and um, a veggie sausage patty, some arugula, an egg, and some parmesan cheese. So I've just popped my English muffin into the toaster and with the magic of editing it is already done and now it's time to cook my egg. I'm going to fry the egg today but I sometimes scramble sometimes do other things so just today figured I'd do a fried egg Nice flip, Jew. And then Carrie needed some attention, so she wanted to show off her beautiful egg. And now my egg is done, so turn off the stove, always. And I'm going to just add it to the little sandwich here. I'm putting it together. There's my English muffin, there's the egg. Here we go, let's place it. Got it, all right, perfect. And then I'm going to add the sausage patty and add the rest of my meal. So, um, like I said, I love arugula. And anybody who really knows me knows that the way to my heart is through arugula. So, of course, I have to add arugula onto my sandwich. I actually put a little bit of balsamic vinegar on it. And that is the finished product with my beautiful cup of coffee. And then, time for mimosas. In our house, we love to um, support day drinking. In moderation so here is princess carrie making the beautiful mimosas that we had for breakfast today it's a special day it's a james bay concert day obviously so we wanted to do a little bit of celebrating and perfect nice job carrie thank you oh showing it off nice out of focus good job now it is time to sit down at our couch with our little coffee table where we usually eat breakfast and watch an episode of one tree hill that's like currently what i've been watching and that's where we eat in the morning and chat and just relax before the day begins. <laughs> yes. 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 After I finish my breakfast, I usually head in and take a shower. And obviously you can't come in, so... Once again, the magic of editing takes over. And I'm already done with my shower. Um, since I have quite a lot of time today, I think I'm just going to let my hair air dry because if I don't have to use heat on it, I usually prefer not to, so I'm just gonna shake it out, and that's kind of all I really do with my hair. I never run a brush through it because then it gets really frizzy. So I'm just gonna pick out a comfortable outfit to hang out today in because I don't really have to do anything until later tonight. So um, I picked out this shirt from Urban Outfitters and a pair of shorts from Zara. And now it is time for me to get changed, so mind your own business. Oh, look at that. Clothes are on. This is the shirt I'm wearing. I've had it for a few years, but it's really comfortable and I like it. So I always moisturize after I get out of the shower just because my skin gets really dry. It's always really dry, and it's currently that time of the month, so my skin does not look very nice. But, you know, we're, we've all been there. So I'm just going to rub this in all over my face. Sorry about that ranky moisturizing application. My little pump is kind of broken, so. But I just rub it all over my face and evenly disperse it and make sure it's all rubbed in and I don't look like the guy from SpongeBob who wears the sunscreen on his nose. 
I don't usually use a ton of product in my hair, so today I'm just going to be using this Living Proof Instant Texture Mist and just spraying it um, on each part of my hair and kind of rubbing it in and really messing it up because I want it to kind of absorb into my hair, but I don't want my hair to look really like flat and I just want it to be voluminous and texturized. So I'm just spraying it everywhere and continuing to rub it in and messing my hair up as I go so that it is nice and full and big. That's it. I'm going to put my makeup on a little bit later so that my skin can breathe throughout the day and I will check back with you in a few hours. Alright, thank you. Carrie set me up again. So it's like a few hours later now. I guess it's like almost five. So I'm going to be the background. Car. Why would you do that? Because it's fun. I'm in your fire room. Alright, bye. Um, so it's a little bit later now and I'm going to just start with my makeup. My hair is like really big, but that's just how it is. So I'm going to fix it after I do my makeup. But I'm going to start with a headband. Let's just go. Woo! Okay, so I'm starting out with foundation. I'm using the Revlon Color Stay and the Sigma F80 brush. And I'm just going to pour that onto the back of my hand and put it all around my face and then blend that out. The next thing I'm using is the NARS Creamy Concealer and an angled Sigma brush. And that way I can get into the creases of my face a little bit better, like especially underneath the eyes. I usually start with my T-zone and just blend that out. And then I go underneath the eyes and do a V-shape, fanned out, and blend that in. And the angled brush helps me to get into the corners of my eyes so that I don't miss any and not blend it well. Then I'll just put some on my chin and on any blemishes I have just to make sure that it's all covered nicely. While I let my foundation and concealer set, I'm going to begin with my brows. I am just using this Tarte. It's a bit of a mascara actually for your brows. It's a Tarte product though and it covers all of my brow hairs so that they're the darkest that they can be. And then I'm going to go into my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which um, I've used in my other makeup video I believe. And um, this is how I just kind of fill in the gaps and the sparse parts. I always brush the product in the direction of the hairs that's growing in that spot. So in the center, I always brush up really lightly so that way it looks more natural. And this is the Anastasia Brow Gel. Um, I just go over my brows with this after to keep them in place so that they will last all night. Next, I'm going back in with my foundation and then the angled brush that I use with my concealer to um, highlight the top and bottom of my brow and to make sure that the lines are very clean because I don't want any messy brows tonight. Going in with the Tarte Bronzer in a small Sephora brush and I'm just brushing that into the creases of my cheeks to give some definition. I am also using a Tarte blush and I will just be brushing this all over the apples of my cheeks and then this Sephora highlighter which I put on the tops of my cheekbones, I put on my nose, and um, my T-zone a little bit and my chin. Now you all know I don't usually use eyeshadow, but I'm going to be using it tonight. I'm going to put the color Sin from the Naked Palette all over my lid and just blend that out. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Toasted and put this all in my crease. Um, I'm using the same brush because I don't have a fluffy brush, but this one works well because it's pretty fluffy in its own. So just blending that out and making sure there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to go in with the highlight color called Virgin and put it underneath my brow bone and in the corners of my eyes and get that all blended out so that it's a nice gradient effect from color to color. And that's it for my eyeshadow. Now it is time for the infamous and complicated winged eyeliner. I personally hate the eyeliner I have because it's not very good for winged eyeliner. It's the um, Line Stiletto by Maybelline. For me, I need a really great eyeliner to do a great wing, so this one took me a while, but I could just skip right through that for you. For the last and final touch, I'm going to put on mascara, and I kind of apply mascara weird. I did this in my last makeup tutorial, but I kind of just brush it through and blink into the brush so that there's great separation and length, but it does take a few applications to build up that length.
And this is my finished makeup look. I'll just put on a little bit of chapstick so that my lips are nice and moist. And that's it. So now moving on to the hair. If you watched my spring style video, you can see this hairstyle done in a more detailed way. But I'm just going to brush over it right now. Um, I just take my straightener and create this wave effect by moving the straightener up and down. And then I do a few little curls with my straightener too. I never really use a curling iron, but to save time, I'm just going to show you this side. I already had an idea of what I wanted to wear to the show, so I'm just going to find this in my closet and pick it out and I will put it right on. So we are about to leave for the concert and we are super excited and this is what I'm wearing. For my dress that is Tibby. The belt is from Forever 21, I believe, and the boots are Chloe. I hope you enjoyed this different video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment telling me that you liked it so I know to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching.